Hey, good morning, everybody. This is a beautiful Tuesday morning out. It's supposed to get 68 degrees here in Wilmington, Delaware today. And then rainy and 55 tomorrow, something like that. Uh, sort of strange up and down hills and dales, but that's how the weather goes. And uh, you know what? Doesn't matter. Lord's in it. We're good. We're good with it. So, uh, but good morning, everybody. It's good to see you. My name is Pastor Randy Scott with Iron Faith Fellowship Church with our morning tidbits this morning. I want to talk to you about faith, about tested faith. And, you know, if our faith isn't being tested once in a while, you know, uh, I would ask God about that. <laughs> really? Like, Lord, wow. Uh, you want to be careful about that because, again, uh, you know, you might get, a, might get a little extra testing going on. But there's not a person in Scripture whose faith wasn't tested one time or another. OK, uh, Moses, Abraham, uh, Joseph, uh, Jonah, you name it, uh, uh, Elijah, the prophet, Elisha, uh, everybody, uh, you know, went through a time of testing. And the testing is good for us because it helps us know uh, where we are in our faith. And uh, that's one thing good about it. it. helps us know that we have faith. OK. How we deal with troubled situations, how we deal with tough times, how we deal when we're challenged uh, to make major decisions. Are we going to trust God with it or are we going to go with our feelings and emotions and hope uh, it all works out all right? And uh, anybody that knows me, you know, when they ask me, uh, you know, how do we get to, how do I get through something? I say, pray until you have nothing but peace from God, then make your decision. And that's a uh, that's a test of faith. That's tested faith right there that when you're willing to pray before you make any major decision uh, until you have a peace that you can stand up and say, I got it, God. You know, we're, we're doing this. We're moving ahead. We're getting it done. Uh, but how, how is our faith tested sometimes? It could be a lot of things. Loss of job, uh, 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 loss of car, uh, loss of, you know, you can name you can name a ton of things. Loss of a loved one. Tragically, uh, suddenly, uh, without notice, uh, you know, our faith is tested. We, we tend to ask God, why do these things happen? And of course, you know, the cliche, the simple answer sometimes is, you know, with his life, there's death. And, uh, you know, and we're always to be ready. We don't know. God's got an appointed time for us. Uh, uh, but again, when certain things hit us just out of the blue, it, it kind of throws us off our game. But right there is a time to, to stop and say, Lord, is this a test? Are you testing me? Am I doing all right? Am I hanging tough? Uh, uh, and, and sometimes, you know, it's all right to cry. Okay. It's all right. Lord, I'm having a tough time with this faith thing, uh, but I'm going to hang on. But, but Lord, I'm really hurting through this time. And that's all right. We don't tell people enough that, that it's all right uh, to do those kind of things. It doesn't mean you have a lack of faith because you get in a, you hit a crying time, uh, like a loss of loved one, even a loss of job that you've worked at for years. And all of a sudden they just hit you out of the blue and you know, you never really planned uh, you never really said anything back and also boom, no job. And, you know, a lot of decisions have to be made and that puts us in a, a perplexing situation, doesn't it? A lot of decisions have to be made, but usually when we're in that situation, man, our thinking is scattered. We're confused. We're, we're doubtful. And that's when we need to go to a God who is not the author of confusion. Amen. That's when we need to spend time. He promises he'll take care of us. And it's in the midst of those times where your faith is being tested to see if you're going to be able to move forward or not. Okay, faith is something that, not something that you just have to get saved and then it stops there. Okay, faith gets stronger as you get tested more. And there's not a person in Scripture. Again, I'm going to remind you and I'm going to read in Hebrews uh, chapter 11. Uh, some things that some of the people went through and they stood on their faith and they were written in the word of God. As a result of that, you know, Abraham was a friend of God. He trusted God. He believed God and it was accounted to him as to righteousness. He was a friend of God. I mean, he stepped out in his faith. He was willing to sacrifice his son because God asked him for his only son, you know, and he trusted that God was going to provide. Uh, Moses had to trust uh, God uh, by faith that he's going to go back into Egypt and people that wanted to kill him, get rid of him. Uh, and he was going to lead the people out. Uh, so, again, there's all kinds of awesome happenings in Scripture, but every great man of God, every great woman of God didn't go through uh, a life without tested faith. And you got to know that. So sometimes when you think you're going through a real tough time, get in the Word of God. Read Hebrews 11, and maybe that'll help you 
uh, understand well, hey, my faith's being tested. Okay, now you know you're in a, in a relationship with God because now you look at it that way. Those people that struggle with this, uh, you know, uh, with doubt and worry and fret, you know, may not have the relationship they, they think they have. Uh, but that's where we can help others. You know, that's where you, when you go through a time of testing and you come out the other end, guess what? God's going to use that as a testimony to help someone else get through that journey. You're going to run. There's no mistake why we go through these times of testings because God's given us the tools to witness and to testify and to share with other struggling people and other struggling believers. OK, not just unbelievers and non-believers, but other struggling believers who are going through uh, uh, troubled times. And and they'll say, well, you don't understand. You've not gone through what I've gone through. Well, when you start sharing with them, then they realize well, I'm not alone. really you. Wow. Uh, it, it's so important to be willing to share our faith journey. And some of the things that we have faced, uh, faced and gone through. So it's very important to understand that tested faith is all a part of our walk with the Lord. But let's go to Hebrews chapter 11. And I'm going to read uh, verses 30 through 40, actually. You can't read just part of this. you got to read it all. But, uh, but uh, chapter 11 of Hebrews, starting in verse 30. And listen to this. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were encircled for seven days. Wow. They had to trust God and that was going to happen. Verse 31, by faith, the harlot Rahab did not perish with those who did not believe when she received the spies with peace. And what more shall I say? For the time shall fail me to tell you of Gideon and Barak and Samson, Jephthah, also David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions, quenched the violence of fire, uh, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies and the aliens. Women received their dead, uh, raised to life again. Others were tortured, not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection. Still others had trials of mocking and scourging and, yes, of chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn in two, were tempted, slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins, goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, by whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts, mountains, and dens and caves of the earth. All these, having obtained a good testimony through faith, did not receive the promise. God, having provided something better for us, that they should not be made perfect apart from us. Wow. And did you read that last part? They had not received the promise yet, but yet they still lived by faith, trusted God through it all, knowing and believing that God was going to make a way, that Jesus was coming. And they didn't get to see that, but they trusted and believed in that. And they went through some tough times. And you, you've heard what the scripture says. So when we think we're going through tough times, take that time to say, Lord, thank you that I've been found worthy, worthy to suffer for you, worthy to go through this time of challenge. Worthy to go through this time of tested faith, Father, that might be pleasing to you. And Father, use me when I come out the other side to reach others. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We bless you for who you are. Father, what an often awesome privilege, Lord, to, to, to have our faith tested. Father, when we know that we're not being tempted, that we're being tested. A temptation draws us away from you. A testing draws us to you. So, Father, I pray that you would guide us. If someone out there right now is going through a tough time in their faith, going through a testing time, that they would see that you love them enough, that you want them to go through this journey and that you're with them all the way. And that, Father, when they come out the other side, they'll be refined as if like fire. So, Father, we thank you. Do an awesome work. And everyone who's listening today, bless them. If that one person that's listening that doesn't know you as Lord and Savior, that you would save them today. Father, shake them, move them, draw them in. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen. All right, guys, love you. Uh, good morning. It is raining there, huh, Mark? Wow, hey, we're not getting rain here yet. I think tomorrow, good morning, everybody. Uh, good to see everybody here this morning. And guess what? We'll see you tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. for some more morning tidbits. And as I always try to say, don't stress, be blessed. Give God the mess. He'll take care of the rest. Amen. See you all later.